Hey guys, it's Kate. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I've been inspired by yet another TikTok. There was this video where somebody made a bucket hat out of thank you, like, thank you plastic bags. I thought that was really cool. So I brought my plastic bag over here. I don't have a thank you bag, but I have a bag from Nike. Now I'll be trying to do the same. I've never made a bucket hat before in my own transformation video. I explained how I wanted to get better at sewing and making clothes. Since that video, I have had no practice. So, we're kind of at the same place. I'm following this tutorial by the Essential Club on YouTube, and I printed their templates out, so this should make things easier, I hope. Pull up at the after party, Essential Club. Another video pulled up on my phone, and I know that for a bucket hat, I know the material for a bucket hat should be a little bit thicker so that it doesn't just flop on your head. Clearly we just have plastic over here so I will have to be like doubling up or something. What's the headband and the brim? Oh, duh, the headband is like the head part and the brim is the brim. From the video, I remember, you gotta be careful with that. From the video, I remember we just had to cut them out. I'm not even gonna try and talk about other topics because I'm definitely not a multitasker. Yeah, definitely not a multitask. Like I just, you know, well I actually, I love to multitask, but I'm not that good at it. Why are you struggling so much? Okay, 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 okay. I also know that whenever you're sewing, you should probably use pins to put pin things in place. I don't have any pins, so I'll be using just needles. Ugh. Bruh, I can't do this anymore. Ooh, that's so ugly. Oh, wait, no, that's a different one. I was like, that's really bad. Yay! I need to get thicker. Thicker than a snicker, so I'll be having... I just said that. Wow. I'll be having to make more of these so I can just stack them up on each other. I really hope this turns out because I also have a plan for the future, just in a week or so. You know what? Here's my plan. It's not even like a secret. I'm planning to take an Instagram picture with this bucket hat, so it better work out. The fact that I make plans for this actually have something to talk about. This is what I've been thinking while I've been silent. Would you guys see me in color guard? Be honest, okay? I saw this Instagram post advertising that my school was looking for people to be on the color guard team. That would be contemplating, imagine. I'll obviously have to look into it and see how it affects my schedule. I will be taking a lot of like, harder classes in junior year and I know junior year is gonna be hard in general so I don't know if that's really the time to join a team, but when else would I join a team? Yep. I really hope I'm not that good. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of this and I'll be back. One eternity later. I don't know why that took so long for me. I think that took about an hour. Now let's get the sewing machine. I have a sewing machine over here. There's a reason why people just buy this. I'm gonna sew the two headband pieces together. I'm looking back at the video for reference. I had to cut three pieces of plastic to make one because it's so flimsy. So while she's pinning two pieces of fabric together, I had to pin six pieces of plastic. If you were to use thicker plastic, I feel like it would be way easier. Like the IKEA plastic, I've seen those bigger hats around. Yeah, I didn't think this one through. The fabric doesn't necessarily line up. I was having, I was having trouble cutting it because I don't pretty sure these are paper scissors and these are scissors for sewing which I know these are super small but they actually work better than these scissors I mean they both didn't really work very well but it did the job for the most part time to sew you can kind of see the stitch right here that hurts so bad so this is why people use pins instead of needles hopefully you can't see these stitches because they're ugly that's what I keep forgetting to do okay I was going so fast too like I knew what I was doing <laughs> That just stitched like 20 different holes with no actual- Why am I so bad at this? So we got that done. So just imagine this. It doesn't look that bad. Wow! Let's go back to the reference video. Pins. Step three, attach headband panels to top circle panel. That is this. The piece for the hat. So now that we have that piece, we're going to actually slide angle panel. I feel like this will be a lot harder for us because I just don't see how that you could so which side of the circle did she mean to? I'm pretty sure I have to do it inside out. I didn't really get it from the video. I'm just going out on a limb here. Stressing me out. It's, uh, I'm gonna figure this out first and then once I pin it up, I'll come back because I'm just about to start crying. One eternity later. I'm done putting it all together. I just hope this turns out well because I already spent so much time on it and like I'm gonna be a little upset. Ooh. 
Okay. Hey! Please tell me I did it right. Now let me take the pins out because, okay, the pins, it's supposed to be a needle, but there's stuff on both sides. There's a needle stuck in my cap. You know when a needle, there's like a circle part wherever the thread goes through? Yeah, well I stitched that into the hat, so now I can't get that needle out. So I broke the needle. I got it out though. But it's not that bad. Oh, what? Wait, I kind of love it. I mean, I think this part's like the prettier side, even though I tried to make like the logo over here, but I kind of don't like how that looks like. So I might just put that in. I'm gonna take a photo of myself. I'm so proud of myself. So now I'm gonna start doing the brim, which I have heard is the hardest part. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Okay, here we have the parts of the brim. This took the longest to cut and it also turned out the worst. Wait, what? So now we're gonna sew the lower portion of the, um, the brim. Okay, but like, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do the color guard thing. I know for you guys, it's only been a few minutes since I mentioned that, but for me, it's been a long time. So I've been contemplating and yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do it. But I do wanna do something. I just don't think it will be color guard because I'm a little stiff when I dance. I'm going to be a junior this upcoming school year. Hopefully, like, we go back to school because I'm actually, I don't miss school. But, you know, obviously everyone wants everything to get, go back to normal. I just, I wouldn't know what to join. Okay. I stitched it and I actually think I did a really good job. Like it's pretty even all along. But then I realized that I did this now. I need like a knife. I think I have to cut every single stitch. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone has those days. Of course, I have this part, which is probably my favorite part. And then I have the brim, which I am stitching up right now. Um, I was able to fix up that little mistake. This is basically how the brim turns out. I feel like it's a little too thick. I'm not going to add a little stitch over here to seal everything together and also as a design. So this stitch will actually be visible. Some better turn out pretty good. I pin holes into it so that I can use it as like a reference tracker point. But I now can see. <laughs> Okay, don't do that. I got one side done. I think I did pretty good. Which, that means if I mess up on the other side, it doesn't really matter, but I obviously don't want to mess up. Okay, why? I mean, we're almost done with bucket hat. Thank God. So I pinned everything in place, and now I'm going to be attaching the brim to the rest of the hat. After I'm done sewing that, I'm basically done. Oh, no, what? The girl in the video makes it look so easy. Hand over the skill. What's happening? Okay, this ending part actually looks good. The, the middle was like bad. It was bad. It was rough. It was, it was terrible. terrible. Okay, hopefully that was the last issue because I'm tired. I'm done. Please turn up now. Please turn up now. It looks kind of big. I'm proud of it though. Like, look at that. It's really big on me, but I'm not even mad. I just don't think I look good in bucket hats. There's like a hole in here, but it does not matter. Okay. When I put it on, it looks kind of silly. It doesn't look that good when I put it on, but like... The over, maybe that's just my, my sh the shape of my head. I, I still think it's good. This was a long journey. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm just proud that I was able to create a bucket hat out of plastic. If you guys like this video, click the thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos from me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!